This is a quick start presentation on how to set up email notification for alarms using the product features opcalarm.net or opcwebalarm.net. We'll do that using the configure application found under the opcsystems.net program group. You will first want to learn how to set up your alarm limits using the alarm limit video that uses the tag configuration. Next we'll use the alarm notification found under configure alarm notification. We'll select the service that we want to configure and put an alarm group name. We can make the notification group active or we can control it with a tag. If the boolean tag value was true, the notification group would become active. When it's false, it would become disabled. Under the filters tab, we will determine which types of alarms based upon alarm priority, alarm group, and alarm type that we want to include in the email notification group. Under the Nodes tab, we'll determine which remote services or local service we want to obtain the alarms from to include in the alarms. Under the Email tab is where we enable the email feature. We put in the From address, To address. The To address can be dynamic based upon another opcsystems.net tag. If you want to include multiple addresses, simply separate each email address with either a comma or a semicolon. In this example, I'm sending out emails to both info and support at opcsystems.com. You can also include a CC address. The outgoing mail server would be your outgoing mail server that the email is going to be sent from, along with the outgoing port number. If you need to, you can include user credentials for that sending email account. We have the subject for the alarm message. This option will actually set the subject to the email text for that individual alarm that is being sent instead of it being this static text. In the message body you can determine which of the alarm attributes you want to include in the alarm message. Each of these identifiers is included in the email body so if you don't want to include those you can uncheck this option and it only includes the actual alarm attributes without identifying them each attribute by name. If you want to disable sending multiple alarms within a particular time period, you can use this feature. Only the first alarm message will be sent out, and then it will wait this amount of time period before the next alarm message is sent. If you want to receive all of the alarm messages, you would not want to use this feature. You can then add this notification group to the configuration with the Add button, and then save the configuration to a file. Then under Configure Options, You'll specify to automatically load that particular configuration with this property that's called Alarm Notification Configuration with the Load Default Alarm Notification Configuration on Service Start enabled. This makes it possible to load that configuration automatically whenever your computer restarts. If you have further questions about this product feature or other product features of opcsystems.net, visit the website opcsystems.com. Under the training page, you'll find more detailed videos on this product feature and all of the opcsystems.net product features.